So to convert between different systems of measurement and within a system of measurement, we're going to use something called dimensional analysis. So it sounds really fancy, but you secretly already know how to do it. Um, so all it really is is algebra. So what we're going to do is take these units of measure, kilograms, liters, meters, inches, feet, all of that, and we're going to treat those abbreviations sort of like a variable. Um, and so, for example, if I gave you kilograms and then liters raised to the negative one power, we're going to treat this just like you would if it were an algebra problem. You already know how to deal with this. So, the negative one power, do you remember what that tells you to do? It tells you to put it one over whatever is being raised to the negative one power. So, this is the same thing as kg, right? G is our standard unit for weight, grams, and the K stands for kilo. We can look, you can look it up in the chart. You might want to keep that chart handy until you remember what a lot of these are. Um, so, K is for kilo, so we have kilograms, and so we're going to rewrite 1 over L to the negative 1 liters to the negative 1 power as 1 over liters. Um, <clears throat> and so remember that in algebra, if, you have, if two things are sitting next to each other, it's implied multiplication. It's the same thing when we're talking about units. If we have kilograms next to liters, there's implied multiplication there, which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Uh, but when we work with it in a math, it works out in a mathematical way if we work with it that way. So, kilograms times one over liters, well, you could think of this as over one. If we multiply, do that multiplication, we get kilograms over liters. Or, if we're thinking about it, um this fraction as a per, right? We can think about this as kilograms per liter. All right? So that's one example of how we might work with this. Let's try another one. Let's try one that has a number with it. So if I gave you 12 mg, and I'm going to put a times in here so you know that the mg is separate from the hr to the negative one. So hr is hours for time. So in this book you'll see hr, hr is the same thing as hours, right? That's the abbreviation for hours. And then the other one you see for time is seconds. And of course you'll, those are things that you will use in the healthcare field, right? If you're talking about I want to um, infuse a certain number of milligrams per hour or nanograms per hour um, or second, uh, maybe. So back to this, prop, this example. So I want to rewrite this in a way that makes sense. So when we were looking at this first example, kilograms times liter to the negative one doesn't really make a lot of sense. But if we think about it as, if we rewrite it as kilograms over liters and we can think of it as kilograms per liter. So that's the kind of the motivation for doing this. And it's also good practice uh, when we actually get to doing dimensional analysis. So treating these um, units in a so as a sort of a mathematical, uh, in a mathematical way. All right, so I've got 12 milligrams times hour to the negative one. So again, I'm going to rewrite the hour to the negative one as one over hours, okay? Um, and it, remember, it's times, and I'm multiplying here. If you don't like a whole number multiplied by a fraction, you need a fraction multiplied by a fraction for this to make sense. You just put this first guy over one, and you have 12 milligrams over hours, which is the same thing as now, so instead of saying, we in the top, we just said kilograms per hour, but now we have an actual number of milligrams that we're talking about. So we would say this is 12 milligrams per hour. All right. 
So those are two pretty simple examples of how we can rewrite these and interpret them um, in a way uh, that makes a little bit more sense to what we're talking about. Uh, I'm going to do another, a couple more examples that are a bit more complicated. And this is going to be good practice for us uh, for going into the actual dimensional analysis and doing those conversions with, within, and the, within the metric system and between the U.S. and the metric system.